Don't so, forget the thing that you were going to forget. Yeah, I forgot so what it was I was, I was going to say ever since – so obviously Merle Haggard has left quite the whole – like the song Willie by Willie Nelson, He Won't Ever Be Gone. Like Willie – Merle Haggard is one of the biggest pillars in country music holding that yep. genre alive. And just what – Nash? I know we talked about it I think in one of our very first episodes about how they were opening like the Merle Haggard Museum and shit in Nashville and how they – or no, they had like the Merle Haggard Award and all this. Yeah. And it's like in – up until he took his last breath, he told Nashville to go fuck themselves. Yep. Like he – And now they're trying to ride on his name. They don't give yeah. a fuck about him or his music. Like they're one of the last things – They're just trying to ride things... on his name. One of the last appearances he made was in that was it Rolling Stone or something when he was with Sturgill Simpson and like he buddied up with yeah. Sturgill Simpson and was just talking shit about Nashville. Him and Sturgill both like stop with this bullshit that you're doing and go back to meaningful music. He's like I can't follow this pop bullshit. Like go back yeah. to meaningful music and Nashville is just butt fucking his name, being like, "No, we love Merle Haggard because yeah. Merle." Exactly. It, it, the Nashville trying to do shit in Merle's name is just like a shitty pop artist name dropping Merle in a song. It's it's nonsense. Your yeah. fucking fans don't know anything about him, and they wouldn't even know what to do with his music if they heard it because they're too fucking stupid. Yeah, and then the um, yeah, it's just. Yeah, no one fucking understands who Merle is who's younger than, you know, fucking 25 unless you have half a goddamn brain and actually understand good music. But they just, yeah, they're just desperate. Like, they say, like, they're paying tribute to Merle while just at the same time taking a shit on his grave. Like, they're just leaning exactly. over his grave, taking a crap, being like, we love you! <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just, it's fucking terrible. I, yeah, oh, it, it makes me, me so angry. Except for the fact that I know so many people who really do love him and his music and what he meant oh, yeah. to the world. And so it, it, if we have to live through a couple shitty, let's pay tribute to him by playing that Keith Urban song. Uh, if we have to sit through that shit, I just know that there's a whole world of people who don't even know what the internet is who just listen to Merle, Re <laughs> Merle Haggard yeah. LPs and just have themselves a time. So it's fine. Yeah, exactly. Um... Yeah. So, oh, the other thing I wanted to say is, I know I've talked about it on the podcast before, but one of the best things ever in my personal life, I mean, I was a, it was a bad day, because the day he died, it was a Wednesday, I remember, because that's when I would oh, do God. open mics. Yeah. And I remember going in, and I think it was right around when David Bowie died, too, because people were talking about David Bowie a lot also. Yeah. But, uh... I remember doing open mic and going up, and I just sang Merle songs, and I and then I did Pledge, Pledge Allegiance to the Hag by Eric Church, which is a fucking awesome. That's song. That's the way it. that you do a tribute. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then add pop music and ruin it. Um, <clears throat> no. <laughs> so I remember doing that, and then I played the songs, and they usually let you play like three or four songs before they move on to the next person. But I got done singing the songs, and the host comes up and goes, "Can you do another Merle song?" I'm like, "Yeah." Of course I, <laughs> fucking of course I can. Does the Pope shit in the woods? Yeah, and it's the only time anyone's ever asked me, like, one more, one more, one more, like, on stage. One more, People one more. have asked me, not on stage, to play more, but, yeah, like, just being on stage and having them be like, can you play one more Merle song? It's like, fuck yeah, I can. Yeah, I that's, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, I, the day Merle died and I found out about it, that was definitely the saddest I've been about a celebrity in which I've never met or know them in any sort of personal Petty. way up until Petty died until it was, that's the thing it was him and then Tom Petty and it so yeah anyway, oh boy I can't I'm, believe sad, it, now. It's I'm been, sad now I can't believe it's already been a year since like Tom Petty I know. passed away I saw, I saw it on, the other day like, I saw it on the Twitter and I was like well I'm sad again time to listen to Tom Petty on repeat <laughs> yeah you need to get some of his vinyls for your. I do. Player. That's a fucking great point. I'm and gonna some, do that. And some more Merle. He got one Merle album. But yeah, I, I need. I need more Merle. I need more all of them because uh, Jay got me one Merle, one Willie, and one Waylon. I need to fucking. I need to get a Johnny Cash, and I gotta get. Well, I, I need mean, the one Johnny Cash. It, if it's not too warped, I don't know. I oh yeah, found, found it in a fucking desk. Yep, so yeah, <laughs> I think I did. I try playing that. One? I can't remember. Yeah, my brain is broken. 